tallest mountains, the deepest oceans, and the most open fields. Watch as a top team of experts unlock the secrets of the world. Discover new species using the latest technology. With their commentary and their help, we will learn that we are the World Travelers. In a small town in Northeast America, there is a creature known as the Bos Taurus Felis Domesticus, also known as the Cow Cat. This film is the only known proof of its existence. It is made long ago of poor quality. But this is our team here at World Travelers to find this creature. Hello, I am Professor Lucas Maxwell. I am the CEO of World Travelers Incorporated. It's always been a life's goal to find and show the world all those lost species that the world has not found yet. And I'm gonna show them to viewers like you. World Travelers, as our slogan says, we travel the world so you don't have to. My name's Professor Jack Henderson, and I have goddamn specialize in blowing shit up. I'm a demolition expert, but I kill everything. I've killed just about every goddamn thing there is on this fucking planet. I went out there to Africa a long time ago in a place called Rhodesia. I fucking got in a big old goddamn fussing mess over there and had to kill a bunch of shit over there, but you know, my, I guess my specialty is killing shit. My name's Dr. Dan, dude, and I've been a doctor for uh, a, a really long time now. You know, and I'm, I'm a biological grass expert, you know what I'm saying? You just show me any cat, I look at it like this, man. I, can, I, just, I just know if that cat does any kind of grass or anything. Now that we know our team, we must go over the facts, the truth about this creature. A Bos Taurus Felis Domesticus? That's a goddamn cow cat! What the hell are we looking for that for? The Bos Taurus Felis Domesticus? That's a really long name. Is there, is there some sort of nickname for it or anything like that? I mean, dang, that's... Doctor, it's the cow cat. Oh, the, the cow cat? Does it eat grass? Oh yes, the Bos Taurus Felis Domesticus. I've spent many years learning about it, AKA the cow cat. A cat that has the look and size of a cat, but the insides and workings of a bovine cow. It eats grass and it makes the grass green all around it. Same size as a cat though, a household cat. It is a, a myth in Northeast America. We need to find out where it is because just think of the possibilities. It can change the world if it's found. Imagine it. What a world. Now our team leaves off to Maine to find this creature. Hey everybody, we're here in Maine to unload all of our equipment to find the cow cat. We are here because of the cold climate and the green grass to- What are you doing? We're what? What the hell are you talking about? Put it away, we're on the camera. Put it away for what? We're here looking for a grass-eating cat. A grass-eating cat? There's only one of these motherfuckers in the whole world he might eat fucking ass. I don't know, he might be the El Koopa Trabre, motherfucking shit. No, I'm not questioning Professor Jack Henderson's qualifications as a professor, but he's showing some wear and tear on this journey to find the cow cat. There's only one of those motherfuckers in the world, right? Yes. You ever seen the motherfucker? No. If you never seen it, you better have a goddamn gun, boy! I don't know what the hell you guys so mad about. I bring a rifle every goddamn place I go. You know, you never know, there's only, you tell me there's only one of these motherfuckers running around the goddamn planet out there. Who knows, that motherfucker might be eating cows everywhere. Despite the tension between the experts, they still searched as hard as possible to find this creature, this cow cat, throughout the lands, searching through the fields, until they saw something. The cow cat. In its natural environment. When I first saw that son of a bitch, I said, Hot damn, we're gonna get paid! But then I was like, What the hell in the hell is that thing? God damn, you know, I thought maybe it might have been the, one of them El Cupa Trabre things, but this motherfucker's lazy. Fuck, he just sat around and ate some goddamn grass. Fat motherfucker, too. Slow as shit. I didn't even need my goddamn rifle. Now I know why you guys are so mad at me. You know, I remember when we first walked up that hill and found the cow cat, man. I was like, dude. 
Now that is a moment that I will remember for the rest of my life. That cat eating grass alongside the cows, the cattle of the area. You could see it in their eyes. The cows were as surprised as I was, as long with all of the experts alongside me. It was a great moment for mankind to find such a specimen. Now with the Bulls Taurus Felis Domesticus found in its natural environment, the case is now closed. Around the world, everyone now knows the myth is true. It exists, and it's there. You know, I really had a lot of fun on this trip, man. I mean, we found the cow cat, and I really want to thank world travelers for giving me this opportunity to go around the world and finding these animals. You know, there are animals out there that just haven't been found yet, and they're just waiting to be found by us, man. World travelers, please bring me on one of these, and I really hope we do this again. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna find more animals. Well, I'll tell you, I sure had a hell of a good time with you boys going out here trying to find that damn cow cat. Find that some bitch, I'll tell you, anytime you guys need another fucking hand getting out there to go find one of these goddamn things, bring me along, I'll tell you. I'd love to do it, hell yeah. I had a hell of a time. Hey, let's get some drinks, boys. And none of this would have been possible without my $4 billion government grant. Thanks, Obama. All I had to do was go down to an office, tell a lady that I'm the CEO of World Travelers Incorporated, a company I haven't made yet. I made it with the grant money. What a great country. I love America. Now with this case closed, who knows what lies next in store for the World Travelers team. Fish cows? To find out, tune in next time. Until then, World Travelers, we travel the world so you don't have to.